so it was uh, quite a quite a busy little inland port. In 1875, well, this was built. Um, reasonably successful, basically. Who was it designed by? Designed by uh, Edwin Clark, principal designer, and. Um, but that's not a Edwin, name that sticks Edwin out. Peter Williams. All right. Who was the who became the principal engineer for Manchester Ship Canal? Oh, I see. Yeah, later years. Yeah. So, Which is accessible by the Weaver, isn't it? Sorry? Which is accessible from the Weaver. From the Weaver, yes, that's the bottom end here. Yeah. 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 Steam hydraulic operated. You're in the original, one of the original caissons. Aqueduct and caissons from 1879. In fact, most of what you see isn't, serves no, no actual purpose other than me standing here. Because this was the 1906 to 1908 conversion of all these pillars here. It's rotting away. To corrosion. Right. Um, basically, they tried to fix the cast iron. I don't know how you are with your chemistry, your metallurgy, but they had cast iron rounds eroding because of salt. Feels a little bit like being in a ferry. You, know, you drive your car on one end, the gate goes up, and then you leave it at the other end, the gate goes down. Except this ferry is for boats. <laughs> quite extraordinary, extraordinary experience. But there is quite a bit of waiting around as well, whilst all these winches operate. Because what's doing the actual power? Yeah, the heavy lifting is tower at the top there apparently and that just winches up and down it's all hydraulic electric hydraulic and there are some cogs you can see huge uh, mechanisms on top of the structure here but that's all just for effect it's you know just to preserve the original look and today there's only one of these caissons are called it's called a caisson which is just french for a tank there's only one of these in action. Um, normally there's two running at the same time, but one will go up whilst the other goes down. And here we go. This gate's going up. I've just got to wait for the signal, and then I can untie my rope at the back here, which I've had all along, just to keep me from moving about. And get out onto the River Weaver, heading on towards the dry dock, which I'm booked in. Northwich Dry Dock. Really excited to show you all that as well. Anyway, thanks for watching and sticking with me.